Hey everybody, this is Ori from Circuit and I'm going to show you how to spot 404 errors in Google Analytics and in particular the 404 errors that your users are actually seeing so you can actually go and fix them very quickly. Okay, great. So the first thing you want to do is go to Google Analytics. Um, you want to select the correct time date uh, it, to go back far enough backwards so you can spot you know, a good amount of errors, but in this case just going uh, for a few days but you can select your own okay um, so you want to go to the behavior tab to site content and click on all pages okay once you do that you'll actually be able to see a list of all of the URLs all of the pages that your visitors have visited and by default the actual uh, sorting is by page views column so you can see the most popular ones okay after you do that you're going to open a secondary dimension okay so this is just the URLs you're going to open a secondary dimension called page title so I type in the world title and click okay great now now you have the URLs and you have the actual page title so page title in this case is just this the actual title tag okay so now you're gonna go to your actual website you want to check and cause a 404 error so I'm just gonna make up a URL that doesn't make sense so now my page title as you can see is called 404 not found and the reason I, it that I mention this is that different websites may have a different title tag so it, not all websites will have the word for for not found it might say whoops we have an issue or sorry we can't or etc so you need to find what the title tag is in this example okay so in this case it's for for so I go back now I have my URL and my page title right so I click on the advanced search functionality and I select page title and I want to only include page titles that have my specific one. So I type in 404, okay? Um, in this case, I can type in 404, not found, right? Not found, and I click on apply. Now I have a list of every single page by URL that is a 404. So I go one by one and I have extra pages. So now I can start acting upon this issue. I can fix it. Um, I can also... Uh, export to maybe CSV or Google Doc and actually start working from there and fixing one by one. Um, that's it. Hope you enjoy this video. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll be happy to help. Thanks.